My work mostly starts from sensory impressions, um, like observations, of course, um, that I'm um, like recording in, in different media. It is not used for you know classified things, but mostly for um, creating a network of deliberate disorder. And when I look for this connection between all the these impressions or thing I see or, or collect, um, it's just something that I need. It's this way of um, you know, giving meaning to them or dealing with them. Sometimes you just see stuff. I don't know how to explain. It's, it's just a way of looking at uh, looking at things. Like the first four, it's just purely visual. And usually I like I see the image. Somehow I cannot but think of you know my condition. Like what's the purpose? Why? Why and where is this drawing? <laughs> These drawings on uh, paper, but uh, only like two, three colors, and you could see like the stroke. It's like stroke after stroke after stroke after stroke after. I can show you on Instagram page. Something like this, you know? <laughs> then you have this, which is very similar. You said I like this one. Mm -hmm. Can you help me one? Kapak. Kapak. That's in Albanian kapak as well? That's the new year. Hmm? Probably. Probably. Yeah. This is homemade. Home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And are they also oh, making alcohol with, with the uh, the like <laughs> other <laughs> foods or they, like yeah. brandy? They make a really high speed pear and uh, plums my, my and cherries. Yeah. They have yeah. a, a cherry, cherry in Romanian. Uh, it does have Exactly. The main theme through all my work, no matter what media I, I use, is I guess what you could call dream logic. Um, so anything uh, is, is potentially material that I can use. My filter of the world is no filter. I have no filter, so everything, all impulses, sounds, touches, everything is very bright, very loud, very overwhelming. I filter it to make my art, but uh, the people often find it uncomfortable to watch or listen to because it distorts their filter, if that makes any sense. My work is mostly autobiographical, related to what I touch and how I feel. I have a lot of works about the educational system in Romania because I was also like a student, a teacher, and I was a generation of transition. Also, I'm a feminist artist. I have a lot of work dealing with the things I dealt with as a woman. My art is my journal, something like that. People are fascinating, so yes. especially those guys are amazing. The one with the hat and the light colored shirt. The, the, the garden man. Yes, the garden man. He, the other one also, but I, I like his color palette more. <laughs> Je voulais te raconter la légende de Mechterul Manole, qui est une histoire sur laquelle je travaille en ce moment et qui parle de la relation de l'artiste à son œuvre. Maître Manole, il doit construire avec ses compagnons une église et tout ce qu'ils construisent de jour s'écroule la nuit. Finalement, ils comprennent que s'ils veulent que la construction dure, ils doivent donner une âme à leur bâtiment. Et donner une âme au bâtiment, ça signifie sacrifier un être humain. Ils décident donc ensemble de sacrifier la première personne qui viendra sur le chantier. Le lendemain, Manolet aperçoit au loin sa femme et son enfant qui s'approchent du chantier. Il prie pour que sa femme n'atteigne jamais le chantier, mais ça ne marche pas. Elle arrive et elle est donc sacrifiée.
il l'emmure vivante dans les murs de l'église, dans les fondations donc, du bâtiment. Et au fur et à mesure de l'emmurement, la femme panique et demande à la dernière minute qu'on laisse un espace autour de son sein pour qu'elle puisse continuer à nourrir son bébé. Et la légende dit que les murs de l'église transpirèrent du lait pour des siècles et des siècles. I have a Romanian poet, a cyborg Romanian poet. Yeah. Can you tattoo me this, actually? I could try. Yeah? I could, yeah. But I gotta get interpreted, so... Ah, you know what I like? What? The drawing of the car that I saw in Bucharest from you. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know that drawing, yeah. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Then I asked uh, Lea, and she told me about you, and then I asked her if, I, if, she could, if she could set a meeting. Yeah, it's cool. She told me about you, you, you guys as well. Yeah. I'm from Kosovo, Albanian, but I live in Brussels. Oh. I work as an artist. Oh, from yeah, okay. I work as an artist in Belgium. Everything has a person behind it, in my opinion. So I usually work with drawings, and they're large scale, and they're of people who are kind of odd and kind of don't belong anywhere. I never draw people who actually exist. I don't make pictures of people and then draw them. All the people that I draw have bits and pieces of other people. Okay. Okay. I always had this tendency to uh, daydream. And what would you have in mind then, like, in to um, put some light on a very fragile and ephemeral phenomena. That's the whole purpose of my life. It's, it's nice because it's like a whole city like become like it's painting for me as a medium more than photography. Um, and yeah, like yours are like painting and mine with us is more linear, so it's more like drawing. Um, Let's start. Where is coffee on top? Wow. <laughs> 